they're not speaking to Shannon yet. I have a feeling like Yasuo is being bullied. Ah, my head. This is my only problem with Epitaph. Only if he creates her that way. It doesn't sound like Beatrice that we know. Gap existed 10 years ago? Oh! Wait, that wasn't a meme? Wait, what? Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of Umineko Chiru. So yeah, let's just continue the episode because we're going to learn about the first friend, probably the first friend of Yasu, who got like uh, name revealed basically in the previous episode, and it kind of like got into my head. It's still weird, and also I like like uh, how we had the conversation about Leon in. Uh, one of the previous episodes like uh i didn't actually realize but you mentioned like there's like in the story a lot of indicators that leon is like uh, he i think but i didn't actually realize and some of you think it's uh, like you treated him as like one and other other ones treat he, her as her it's really a debate in the comments <laughs> it seems so everyone whatever <laughs> and yeah i think like we're just going to go with the episode without like long intro or anything because i don't have like much time and january in general is very tight for me in terms of like video making and uploading so i hope like every episode is going to be on schedule if possible i want to create some extra episodes for the week but i'm not sure if i would be able to because as i said january in specific is really harsh this time so yeah i'm not sure how i will like go on with the videos in this month so yeah anyway let's just go to the episode and let's see what's going to happen <laughs> who's going to be the first friend yes Okay. Okay. Okay, this is... Why? Okay, we starting instantly with, like, Shannon talking. Okay, my... Okay, my, my theory about this is just... Uh, Shannon is just, like, voice in the uh, Yasu head. And... Uh, talk, like... Don't you use it to clean window frames and then Yasu will speak. Or something. Or maybe not speak at all. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do with Shannon in like this. A small broom is a small team broom uh, that looks like a large paintbrush. We use it uh, to clear out the dust in small corners, like window frames. It's one of the cleaning tools I was put in charge of. Okay. You didn't do it? Or what? Oh, lo he lost it. Or she. Okay, Leon. Okay, I will call Leon she and Yasu he. Like, by now. It just, like, goes natural with, like my tongue i guess leon leon she's cool i guess yasu is cool yeah okay let's but let's go with yasu he and leon she i don't know okay i let's leave leon for now やすがチビボウキをまたどこかでなくしてきたのよ。こいつ、物をなくす天才。だからやすに物を持たすなといつも言っている。そいつはそそっかしいから、いつも物をなくす。やす <笑> is basically clumsy and stuff, huh? Just like Shannon. 一生懸命やってるんだから、そんなこと言っちゃいけません。Oh, right, wait. I was, like, concerned in the previous episode if uh, anyone uh, interacted with Shannon. Now we can see if they're actually co 
uh, interact with her because for now they don't interact with her if you think about this. She's only speaking and they speaking to Yasu in direct. So they're not speaking to Shannon yet. Okay. Not wanting her to, uh, to hear the servants complain even more. I spun around and headed it off. They didn't interact with Shannon. So I think like this is pretty much like clue, hint, slash confirmation about my thoughts in the previous episodes. Unless at some point I will interact with Shannon and that will just crumble my world again. Which might be possible. If you lose a tool, you will get in trouble. If no one knows who did it, we all get yelled at. So no, no one of them would probably tell the madame that it was my fault. My fault. So one of them. Yeah. Still, it's uh, my fault that I lost it in the first place. I wonder why I lost it. When? When? We did a big clean of the entire chapel today. The chapel is a large building behind the mansion. However, no one ever goes there near it normally. Even so, we are ordered to clean the chapel a few times each year. Yeah, we know. Like, this is... That was mentioned, I think, previously, right? In, like, even in question arcs. That this chapel is very important and they, like, cleaning the, it and stuff. But still, no one is, like, going in. Only servants can go in. Kinzo call it a sacred building, so Natsuhi is very strict about it. We cleaned every little nook and uh, nook and uh, cranny from top to bottom. It took all day. I've been put in charge of cleaning the window frames, but I was also given many smaller tasks. While those small tasks keep me busy, I must have completely forgotten about small broom and left it lying around somewhere. I hate myself for doing this. This isn't the first time this happens. It happens all the time. Every time I set something down, it always disappears. It goes somewhere else, vanishes. I have a feeling like Yasuo is being bullied by other servants. I have a feeling like they hiding it on purpose. I've come to think that this might be pranks by the witch Beatrice. Oh! Oh, right, the story about Beatrice is even before, yeah, yeah, so 10 years ago they had the story already, yeah, true. The ghost of the witch Beatrice borrowed the power of Rokinjima's evil spirits to become reborn. Andrew Kumasawa told me I never knew the, the meaning of the shrine on the rocks by the sea. Oh, we are going back to the shrine. Wow, it's been a while, it's been like... Since episode... Three? Oh no, wait, shrine we had mentioned in the episode five, I'm sorry. No, six. Ah, my head. Too many shrines. Also, recently, I tried to, because we had like a discussion on Discord. Uh, actually, not recently, some time ago. Uh, about Epitaph and stuff, and I I really hate doing Epitaph, I really hate it. I like thinking about Epitaph in general as the... like... a thing to solve, but I hate digging into history and geography at the same time. I... it's so... I really don't like it. I don't like it. Why it requires, like, Atlas and stuff? I hate this. This is my only problem with Epitaph. Kumasawa yeah, we know that. Oh! Are we going to have like full full story? 
not just a little bit that we had in the episode one when she mentioned this to Butler and others. Okay, this is the first time we see it like both names. In episode 6 it was only called Akujikijima, I think. Azukijima is new. Didn't heard about this before. Okay. And also, worth to note... Worth to note is that the story that Claire is reading or telling us, ever, actually everyone here on the theater is telling us the story about 10 years ago is the story, I mean it's obvious right, but it's like just clicking like things together okay, like this is with Ward without Leon. Because in the world with Leon the witch batteries don't exist so there's no story about which batteries and Yasu mentioned batteries so this is the story when baby was thrown away so when Leon was thrown away actually it, it's like pretty obvious but just wanted to mention it just in case Okay, so, so Shrine get finally attention. Maybe, oh, maybe this episode is going to give me some additional hints that I can work with. Where I can actually hook in onto something with a uh, shrine. I know you guys like try and give me like tips or like uh like maneuver me into some tips about shrine but I seriously don't see it <laughs> if I'm correct you're trying to do this on discord but I just don't see connection from like episode one episode six I believe and episode episode three where was the mirror? Or episode 5? Episode 2? The sh episodes with the with the shrine. I seriously cannot like find the connection. Well, so maybe, maybe now. Maybe now. Who knows? So? <laughs> Traveling eccentric, huh? I remember him. I mean, this eccentric was mentioned back in the episode... Either episode 1 or beginning of the episode 2 before Shannon went to smash the mirror. It could be episode 2 when we had specifics about Mirror and they said that this guy or girl, this is Ascentic, like, use this Mirror to like, seal Beatrice or something. Don't know how it works. But yeah. <laughs> よるの屋敷を徘徊しているのですよ。ほほほほ。親方様の書斎見た？見たわ。まるで悪魔の実験室だわ。Wait、what？Oh、yeah、master study。そう、金座。親方様は悪魔の研究をしているって噂だよ。
Yes. Okay, that's dark. But I guess... I guess he owns the orphanage. That's dark. Now when I think about this... Okay. How much of it is fake? レアトリーケ様が肉体を求め、亡霊となってさまよっておられるのです。2階の貴金室は、レアトリーケ様の趣味。お部屋を掃除するときは、くれぐれも礼を失することはあってはなりませんよ。オッケー。さもないと。<笑>オッケー、クワサワイルはグレイト。思春期の創造力たくましき少年少女たちにとって、階段は恐ろしいながらも魅力的なおとぎ話で、一つの物語を共有し共感することで、伝するて共感は義務となる。それを受け入れること
wow you actually mentioned hotel that was that's a while like the first time you mentioned that was in the episode one and that's when i learned you don't really like working for shiremias and that's when you got sass <laughs> Or like being culprit or something, and then you became a meme, and maybe culprit, or maybe not. I don't. <laughs> I I swear it must be a meme. Oh my god! If Goda will actually became like an actual culprit, I swear I don't know what I will do. つまり馬鹿馬鹿しい話だと思って気にしなかった。空気を読むってとこはあったかもしれない。ですね。階段もジンクスもその職場のローカルルールです。それに新参者が背けば打ち解けることはできませんからね。そういうこと。魔女なんているものか。馬鹿馬鹿しい。なんて言うと、姉さんと喧嘩になるからね。バレてます。
when it became dark enough that I would need a light before long I began a panic. To panic. I dashed around and around the chapel, tears streaming down my face. Holy shit! Why this broom is so important? Just go to bed! You will find it tomorrow, you cannot find it. Well, that suck. The others probably told already Natsuhi that you fucked up the job today, so... Nothing you can do. As I stumbled about pathetically, I could feel the presence of a prankster witch giggling at me from under the door and up by the ceiling. The ghost of Beatrice, a master's mistress, wanders around in search of the body to this very day. Are we going to have like situation that Yasu will think that he's possessed by Beatrice or something? As she gains the power of Rock and Jim Ivy's spirit, her strength sadly grows and she waits for the day of her resurrection. And for some reason, she singled me out. And if I ever take my eyes off something for a second, she snatches it away and hides it. This isn't the first time this has happened. Whenever I look away, key, handkerchiefs, pencils, erasers, all of them vanish almost right away. Okay. Yasuo yeah, so is definitely being bullied by other servants and thinks it's magic because that's the, the definition of magic. Like with Maria, you don't see it, stuff happens, it's magic in your eyes. So Yasuo yeah, so believes in magic and in batteries because stuff disappearing without him knowing anything. And all this really happening is just others snitching stuff out of him to make him into the trouble. That's my explanation for that. I put things down planning to use them later, uh, or because that's obviously the right place to leave them, and they still disappear as soon as I turn around. It isn't someone hiding them as a prank. Are you sure? It happened many times, and I'm the only person around. Are you sure you just don't see anyone sneaking up to you? Everyone always says I'm too careless and forgetful, and they laugh at me and get mad at me. I do try to be alert, but like some kind of bad joke, I lose things easily when I forget about them for a short while. So sometimes I think, I bet this year is going to disappear just like everyone else, and I stare at it. That's the only one, that's the only time when it doesn't disappear, duh! Nothing disappears when I'm alert. So then, I think I'm safe, but the moment I start to think that and relax just a bit, a different thing will disappear instead. Why is it always me? Well, it's <laughs> to be you. <laughs> it doesn't sound like Beatrice that we know. It doesn't sound like a Beatrice, I think. Beatrice never laughed like that. Yeah, I heard it. I can hear a witch uh, laughing at me as I lamentably run around in circles. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound... I don't know. It doesn't sound like Beatrice. If what? Listen to that voice's laugh. I finally slammed my hands against the wall, crying tears of frustration. Please just stop it. Why do you always hide my things and get me in trouble? The witch answers. This is not bad, who the hell is that? <laughs> okay, who is it? Oh my god, we're adding another character? I don't think I ever heard that voice. 
I'm trying to think if I know this voice, but I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't recognize the voice. I feel so frustrated. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I knew all along that there was there was the reason. That was the reason. But the witch being so violent about it was incredibly annoying. I can tell. That small broom is somewhere in this chapel. No, that's not quite it. Until the very moment I walked up to this window, I was sure it was right uh, by this f uh, window frame. That's right, I'm sure I put it uh, right here by this window. But the prankster which Beatrice used her magic. Just before I reached this spot, she instantly teleports the small broom to the next window over. Then as I approach the next window, a hole appears beneath the small broom, swallowing it up. That's Gap! And comes out by the next window after that. Beatrice is not using holes, Gap is using holes. It lands right there, perfectly sealed, as though it was there the whole time. Is Gap the Beatrice of 10 years ago? <laughs> but it's not the voice. Hey. Wait, is that the voice of Gap? It's not, right? Oh my god, is it the voice of the Gap? Wait, no. Wait, it is the voice of Gap. It is Gap. Wait, what the fuck? It's the voice of Gap. What? Gap existed 10 years ago? I will need a break after this. Oh my god. Like, these few episodes kind of frying me. And this happens over and over again. Yeah, recently. And so I run up to one window. The small boo broom falls into a magic hole and goes to the next window. Every time I see small, I want to read bombs. God damn it. And then I got to that window. Oops, sorry. If you hear that. I didn't realize there's some sounds at this hour above. And when I go to the window, it goes to the next window. That's exactly how she's teasing me, I can tell. So, no matter how much I search, it will be useless. But if I stop searching, I will be just sitting there by one window or another. So this isn't search, it's a test, a test of endurance. I keep chasing after the small broom. The batteries keeps making it escape to the next window over, trying to make me give up. This eternal chase that will only end uh, when one of us gives up. So I keep going around in circles, searching the windows when I when I know I've already searched them. If it's not by this one, the next one, and the next one. The witch keeps moving the small broom to the next window, to the next one. That sequence is so weird. Just give it a rest. The this sequence is weird. I don't know what to think about this sequence yet. Yasuo is going crazy. How long are you going to make fun of me? This isn't the only time you always do this. Always. Is it like... Just interpretation? Okay, because Umineko is a lot about interpretations. So what if... Yasuo is not like actually blaming Beatrice, but he like realizes in like uh, in his subconscious that other servants are like uh, well not fair towards him and uh, just like bullying him, hiding his stuff and everything. And uh, he's basically like, and um, his boiling emotion is just like 
go out right now. And he's like, why are you doing this to me? Why you can't like stop bullying me, you know? And he's just like, think about Beatrice because it's uh, like he don't want to blame other servants in his consciousness and tries to blame it on Beatrice, the fictional thing that we have stories about the ghost and everything disappears without him like looking so yeah sounds like logic to me no evidence but logic <laughs> The shrill voices laugh for the, of the formless witch continues to mock my sobbing. The witch is right beside me, laughing at me. Wh when are we supposed to find the first friend? So far we are finding on the enemy. Whoa, that, that's a cool soundtrack. Wow, I wonder if this one is going to be troublesome on YouTube or not. Hope not, because this is pretty cool. As I dash around the chapel, she's following along me, taunting me. Then, she must be there. She's right behind me, just over my shoulder. Crackling away at this very moment. I know that turning around won't help, since she has no form. I can try to look, but I mustn't look with my eyes. Once my eyes tell me there's nothing there, I won't be able to see anymore. I learned that from uh, the director of the gospel house. You mustn't try to look with your real eyes. You must see with your mind's eye. Okay, Doctor Strange, let's go! Third eye, open your third eye. The whole world is filled with God's love. Or we can look with love, okay. In the many blessings of everyday life, one can find God and angels and the Holy Ghost. If you look with your eyes, you won't be able to see them. So you won't be able to feel them or understand them. So now they're explaining me the phrase without laugh it cannot be seen, right? <laughs> now we have proper explanation of this thing. Instead you must quietly understand them with an eye of your heart. You don't uh, look and have your eyes reflect their image. You see and picture them in your mind. Isn't that just an illusion then? If you just picture it? In this way I learned how to recognize beings not of this world at the gospel house. This power does not not only allow you to see God. It allows you to see all uh, those not uh, not of this world. Please stop it now. Stop the prank. I swear! Oh my God! This is so confusing. This Beato just said warawa. Who? Warawa ni. This is mannerism of Beatrice. Voice I think belongs to Gap. Which is supported also by creating the black holes under the broom. What? The, who the hell is that? I'm clumsy at my job. And I do forget where I put things a lot. But I know which things were my fault and which things were because of your pranks. これはこれは姿の際は落ち隠するだけでなく、わらわのささやかな遊びまでも理解すると思ったよ。お前は面白い存在ではないか。Yes. Uh huh. I'm usually called Yasu when one of the older servants is laughing behind my back at some mistake I've made. So this is pretty much confirming that the one who's fucking up with you is one of the servants. 
So when I hear that name, I feel ba it feels bad. She deliberately called me. Not by the blessed name given to me by the gospel house, but by the unblessed name. What's your blessed name, Yasu? I think... Wait, Yasuda is his... Yeah, it was in the previous episode, right? Yasu, Yasuda, yeah, I think it was in the previous episode. Because uh, canon is... Yas... Yasu... Why the fuck canon and Yasu have the same na names? Like, ve I mean, not the same names, very similar names. I... <laughs> Yasu? No, wait. I forgot name of canon. What the fuck? <laughs> Yasuda? Yas. Yas. Oh my god, I forgot canon's name. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot canon's name. I will remember it. Okay, don't worry. It. <laughs> oh my god. Upsetting the heart is a classic move. For the evil beings to make. This is their way of attempting to prevent others from perceiving them. The beings like witches, being understood, is like uh, show uh, shoving them out into the light of day. It won't work. In the gospel house, I learned how to perceive those not of this world. So I already, so I already understand you. <laughs> It won't work. I understand you now, and you are in my grasp. No matter how many unpleasant things you say, I will just expose the ugliness of your heart. Without turning around, I slowly let my field of vision fill the entire chapel. It was as though the viewpoint of my soul was floating out from my shell of my head. See, by inch, my field of vision is floating out of my head and drifting upwards. Shell of my head, it's like leaving the body and... It's similar to what Beato said. That she left like shell again, right? Like when she died, she left the shell or something. It's also the common trope in the Umineko. It was mentioned a lot. Like Shen, Cage of Flesh, stuff like that. As I looked down at myself standing there with head hanging and eyes tightly shut. My mind's eye very, very slowly rose up to the ceiling of the chapel. When I looked down from there, I looked down at myself, standing in the center of the chapel and the witch standing behind me. Apparently the witch realized that she was being seen. It is freaking gap! I knew it! Holy shit! Okay. Okay, one se hold on, one second, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, she didn't got nerfed along the years, okay? That's for sure. But she got nerfed in terms of power, I guess? I mean, she's pretty, she's called Beatrice, right? In this time. So, 10 years ago, Gap was Beatrice? So, Beatrice was Endless Witch at some point? I mean, Gap was Endless Witch at some point? How the fuck does that work? She's a... She's a friend with... Oh my god. God damn it. I clicked the wrong things. Now that's going to be annoying. Okay. What is Gap? Is there Gap? There's Gap. Yeah, but his friends. Wonderful apparently for pranks. 
hide stuff. Yeah, pretty much what's happening now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh! Gap is friend to Beatrice! Chapter is called The First Friend. We theorize that Yasuo is baby from 19 years ago, right? Because this is fragment who the Beatrice exists, Leon doesn't exist. The, the Yasuo is from like. Oh! That's why it's first friend. So Yasuo's Beatrice, yes, that's what we theorized. And Gap became friend with Yasu. That's why she's friend with Beatrice. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Oh my god. She turned around and tries her eyes to look into my mind's eye, floating by the ceiling. At least, I could see the witch Beatrice with my mind's eye. The demonic lips twisted in an ugly curve. It was clearly a challenging, repulsive demon smile. She wore a blood red uh, dress and hat. The design was completely different from anything humans were, wore. Her hair was blonde. It had countless beautiful curves, like the princess from the picture book. Wait, if you think about this... Gap is also the embodiment of what Butler sees as the perfect for him, right? If you think about this, like she's like perfect candidate for Beatrice. Butler said in that backstory to... When like Shannon was speaking with Butler, right? That... Like in the movies, like uh, Blondie with big boobs, yeah. Well, there we go. I never thought about this, that actually Gap feel the requirements of Butler. <laughs> But there was no trace of cuteness about her. That's only sexiness. You sad witch who can uh, be seen but no one heard by no one. Have you been pulling those pranks all the time just to catch the attention of humans? So... Also, it gives me a bit of, like, troubles now. Because that means Gap should be one of the servants. Like, Gap is embodiment of one of the servants, right? Because servants are fucking up with Yasu. Unless Yasuo is actually forgetting where the fuck he put his things and just create gap in his mind and this is another just imaginary friend of his which is enemy at na uh, for now. <laughs> Or maybe not. It's someone who knows. Because Gap is later in 86, so it must be someone who exists both in 86 and 76. So one of the servants who exists. So. As we saw with, like. Leon. And now Yasu, like, 
gender don't really apply to anything here in this game. Then... Gap can be pretty much anyone that knows about Baby from 19 years ago, right? It cannot be Kumasawa though, because Kumasawa is Vir uh, Virgila. So it can be Genji. It can be... Nanjo. It can be... Masawa cannot. Kinzo's dead. Are there only two people in 86 who knows about Yasu? Genji and Nanjo? Who can be Gap? Wait, Genji is. Wait, Genji is run over. Wait, wait, that wasn't the meme? Wait, what? Wait, my conclusion is that Nanjo is Gap. Wait, what the fuck? Uh. Wait, it was. Wait. It was not some, like, cursed fanfic? I mean, fan art? What? The thing that you showed me on Discord. Okay, I... Uh, let's move on. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm forgetting about someone. Maybe there's some other people who knows. What? <sighs> oh, I... Yeah. If so, then I've uh, just saved you. Beatrice, I understand you and perceive you. It's getting dark. I don't have time to play with you anymore. Let's give it back. My cleaning tool. But as soon as I get close, you will move it to the next window over. They will snap her fingers and various things through the chapel were sucked into black pitfalls beneath them disappearing. No, they didn't disappear. They instantly, uh, they instantly vanished into the dark holes. The, dark ho the other dark holes appeared in the completely different parts of the chapel. And the vanished objects fell out of those. Cherk's musical score, clocks, the vases started appearing and disappearing all across the room. I felt as though countless tools were flying about the chapel. I wonder where a witch draws the line between pranks and magic. When she snapped her fingers again, all of the objects uh, flying about so energetically returned to the original spots and silence fell. Okay, this perspective is bullshit. We don't believe in magic. It's, it never happened. It's just imagination of Yasu. Also, if... Okay, wait, it cannot be Nanjo. Wait. Oh my god, I'm so fixated on, like, identity of Gap now. Because she's called Beatrice now. What the actual fuck? Then... Why Gap is Beatrice 10 years ago? Why episode 7 is so insane? I love it.
Because if if we would assume that Nanjo is the only one in 10 years later who could be up, then that would mean Yasu is speaking with Nanjo in the chapel right now. It doesn't make any freaking sense. Why would he be here? And do some like weird stuff with Yasu. What? It must be imagination of Yasu. Like I... Okay, my, my first fury... I will go with my first fury. Beatrice? First friend of Yasu? As Gap? Gap is imagination of his? Because he don't want to think that other servants do stuff to him, so he blame Beatrice. I I don't know. But let's go with the that. Ah. Uh. The gospel director told me that I mustn't try to see evil beings. If you see them, they will hunt you. Now that I understood this wish, I, uh, a bond between uh, had been formed between us. Okay, I didn't spoke it out loud, so how do you know what I, I thought? You would only know what I thought only when if I created you with my mind. I will talk to you from time to time. So will you stop pulling pranks like this? <laughs> wow, that's hopefully all, like, uh, late. Please give it back. If I said I'm not, will you give it back to me? It's just some servant that snitched it out. Oh? If you give it back, I will acknowledge you as a friend. Oh my god. Like, so basically, Gap, as previous Beatrice, is teaching Yasu magic, and Yasu will become Beatrice later on? Isn't that a thing? So how many batteries do we have right now? We have our batteries, elder batteries, cheek batteries, gap gap trees, Eva trees, it's five. Butler trees, at six. Uh, NJ trees, because NJ have a title of Beatrice, right? The last Beatrice of 12 years later. So it's seven. I guess we can do meme Rosa trees, because it never happened. Aha! There's too many batteries in this game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright then, I will leave the small bomb with you, a uh, small broom with you. Please give it back when you decide to become a friend. Hmm? 
そのしばらく預からせてもらいそれを迷う越を楽しませてもらおうぞ。How are you going to show me your friendship with that broom? Are you going to show it up in. When the witch snapped her fingers, the broom uh, for which I had uh, searched so long fell out of the hole in the air. Landing between the, the fingers she had just snapped. So, I was going to show you how I was going to show you. You're my friend, that is. <laughs> the witch faded away. As she did, my mind's eyes slowly closed. When I turned to my body, I felt suddenly tired and let out the breath I've been holding. Of course, the, uh, when I turned around, there was no one to be seen. I couldn't feel the witch presence anywhere anymore. I had gotten very, it had gotten very dark by this time. I decided to leave the chapel. There's no point in searching for the small broom any longer. Not until the witch decides to give it back. Maybe Yasuo is Goda. Because of small bombs being involved. I went out of the chapel. This is literally morning at this point. What the fuck? It like Yasu spent the whole night in the chapel? What the hell? The chapel had key had been left in the lock. I used it to lock the door. What I'm going to do all about the small broom? There's nothing I can do. I can't even blame the witch. I must acknowledge that I am responsible to, uh, for giving the witch a chance. Uh, I happened to glance downwards and saw a small broom lying there by my feet. See, I said like some servants are fucking up with him. They stole the broom and just like leave it like outside before like leaving. And he was like in the chapel all the time. So never realized that. That's so obvious. It was the broom I have been searching for all the time. God damn it, stakes. You are always messing things up. Don't tell me. That I uh, it will be swallowed by dark coal the instant I bend over to pick it up. No. This is a sign from the witch. A sign that she acknowledged me as a friend. I picked it up. Oh, I'm one yet many. Hi, Keller. I'm. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like you're playing as the actor. Yeah. True. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like one of like her incarnations. It's like <laughs> what happened? Yes, gap. Yeah. Okay, I think this conversation that Claire have right now and that she speaks like this, like sentences, they are very important hints, I think. Being bonded with one who is not human means being bonded with their world. I have a feeling like this is important. We can apply this to the 86, I think. Somehow. Bravo! That was pretty cool. 
Love that. And that gave me a headache as well. Wow, that was... Episode 7 is insane. I didn't expect to have, like, days enraptured. Okay. I never expected to have, like, weird play in the episode 7. Calling us, like, the backstory with, like, actors and stuff. This is, like, truly insanity. Holy shit. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I need to, like, uh, go away for today. Uh, it's getting late and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this episode. Thank you for being with me. Leave up a like if you like the episode, if you like the Umineko, if you like Yasu and his meeting with, Be with the Beatrice or the Gap. Mind the Gap, everyone, and... I will see you in the next one. So thank you once again. And for the pocket watch is going out.